Hey travelers, if you or your loved ones have some flights coming up and you don't want to have that whole chaos of not knowing if your flight's gonna be on time, then I've got some apps for you that are going to take care of all of this. So they're gonna do three things. They find out if your flight is on time, whether that's your flight individually or somebody you're picking up from the airport, finding out if your airplane is actually even at the airport waiting to take you on your next route. And the third thing is, if you're just sitting on the beach or in your backyard and a plane goes overhead, you can actually find out what the plane is, what the route is, and a whole bunch more information. So it's kind of a lot of fun if you are a bit of a plane spotter. So we're just going to throw in a little disclaimer here that the information on these apps is accurate. However, the airlines may opt to do some operational changes. The airline may all of a sudden step in and make a change um, to bring in a different aircraft to supply your flight. So just bear that in mind. The airline information is always the gospel that you want to take heed of. Okay, so let's jump right in. Um, what may be the least important to you is if you're sitting around and a plane goes overhead and you think, gosh, I wonder where they're going. Sometimes it's kind of interesting to note and that is very simply done with an app called Flight Radar 24. When you see a plane over top, you're going to go in, click on the location um, navigator so that it knows your your geographic location. You'll see all the planes in the area and you can also see what type of aircraft it is. You can see their route, how far they are to arrival, as well as their actual altitude and speed. So it is kind of interesting if you're a bit of a geek like me on that respect. Now, the second thing that's probably more relevant to you is whether or not your flight is going to be on time, whether it's you departing or you're picking somebody up. One of the ways you can do it is, of course, you can go to the airline website and it's going to show you what their projected time is. You can also go to most of the airports, have an estimated uh, arrival and departure time so you can check on there. But you can also use, again, the Flight Aware app and it will tell you all the details of your flight uh, as well as how much time is left in the duration of your flight. It'll show you on a map exactly where the flight is so you can see exactly how far it is and how much, uh, how, when you're gonna have to be leaving for the airport to collect your person or whether or not you should already be at the airport if it's your flight. So another thing that's really helpful is to know where your plane actually is. You know, maybe it's never occurred to you, but your plane doesn't sit at the airport all day long waiting for you to board and for you to take that singular flight to wherever it's going and then return home. It actually may have been in operation all day long. So for example, so the flight could start from Toronto and go to Ottawa, then Ottawa to Toronto, then Toronto to Calgary, Calgary back to Toronto, and then Toronto all the way back to Vancouver. So it can be bouncing around all over the places. <laughs> place. But what you have to bear in mind is if there's any weather systems in any of those airports that is going to have an impact on arrivals and departures, you know, once there's a delay at the start, it's just going to cause everything else to fall like a stack of dominoes. It's very unlikely that your plane will be on time unless, as I said before, the airline chooses to substitute another plane for yours to get things back on track. And that certainly can happen from time to time. So if you look back at that example where we were looking at the flight from Toronto to Vancouver, that was AC129. We can pull up the flights here. We can see the info for today, or we can take a look at what's happening for tomorrow. So let's look at tomorrow. Uh, we can see, yes, it's scheduled from Toronto to Vancouver. Where is my plane? And prior to that, it's coming from Calgary to Toronto, then from Toronto to Calgary. Then from LA, it's an overnight flight into Toronto. So we can see what's happening there. Let's go ahead and keep going here. So we click on where is my plane? And prior to that, it was going from Toronto to LA. And that's still coming up later today. This one's on the way, Calgary to Toronto. It's on time currently, so that's good. But you can see very quickly how a domino effect can happen if just one of these flights is late because they're just so tight in scheduling. Now, some of you just may not be bothered by this. You just think, well, I'll get to the airport when I get to it. This is just to provide you a bit more information. Personally, I quite enjoy it. Um, probably if you have somebody who's a little bit more nerdy in your group, <laughs> like myself, you would want them to be taking care of this task. It is a great way of being able to monitor what's happening and as I say, take back a little bit of control about your travel plans. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. 
I'll see you on the next one.